Hello and welcome. Now in this video what we are going to do is we are going to upload the files that you're going to be serving in your membership to your S2 member installation. Now in order to do that S2 member has a certain way that you can actually do that and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Now the file that you'll be uploading to will have your domain and directory.com so if you have a, if you have a subdirectory after that it'll go here you'll be looking for the WP content folder then you'll be looking for the plugin folder you'll click inside of there and then you'll be looking for a folder called s2 member files that is the place where you're going to be uploading all of the downloads that you're going to be putting in for people to be able to get access to when you give them links inside of your s2 member installation now I'm going to show you the form that you're going to use whenever you create a download so once you've uploaded the file to that directory, every download is going to take the following format. You're going to have the URL, you're going to have the directory where the membership is, and then you're going to have a question mark, and then you're going to have the words S2 member file with the underscore there, download equal. Now after the equal sign is going to be the name of the file. So in this particular case, we named it example file. You would actually have your actual file name there when you created this download link. So if we have a file here, what we would do is we would make sure that our file is going to be zipped up. So we would send that to a compressed file. So however you create zip files, that's what you're going to do. We like to eliminate the spaces in here. So we're going to call this bonus dash worksheet. And so now we have our zip file and it is now ready to be uploaded. So now what we need to do is we need to find the FTP location of where we're going to be delivering the file. And we already have that. So we're going to pull open FileZilla right now so that we can upload our file using the drag and drop system. And you'll notice that we have our directory open. If you recall, there's our directory, there's WP content. We clicked into the plugins folder clicked into s2 member files and now we're in this directory so that all we have to do now is upload the file by dragging and dropping and so now that folder is now on our server and it's called bonus dash worksheet so now what we need to do is we need to name this link according to the convention that we talked about a minute ago so if you recall we said that we needed to name the file according to our URL according to that directory with these words and then instead of example file well, we're going to put in the name of our file so now what we have here is we have the file and it is ready to be uploaded using bonus dash worksheet instead of example file so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and then we're going to head into our WordPress installation and we're now going to open a post where we're going to deliver the content. So we're going to add a new post. And in this particular case, for example, we might call this June content. And what we would do, of course, is we would create a link for our customers to make sure that they get it. And so we might write in bonus worksheet. We would then create a hyperlink. So we go here and highlight and place in our URL. We then click enter and then we would publish the post. Now, as we talked about earlier, the only people that we would want to see this post would be the people who are going to be in level one. So we would then update this post. And now what we've done is we've protected on two levels. First, the only people who are going to see this post are going to be the people who were part of the level one membership. The other thing is that this download is going to be in a protected folder. And so the only people that are going to be able to download are going to be people who are going to be part of your actual membership. So we have now created content for our membership. We have linked to it inside of the protected folder and we have now protected the post with our member level. 
Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.